Just give us an update. What's going on with Mentra? I've seen the site, looks beautiful. Uh, everyone's excited to see all the projects launching at Pulse Chain, especially a lot of people have been in the Mentra for a while now. What, what, what is the state of things? Maybe we'll start with that real quick. The state of things is Mentra is live on Pulse Chain Testnet V4. For those of you who do not know, it's an NFT marketplace. Um, on Pulse Chain, man, on Pulse Chain V4. If you had any NFTs before the Pulse Chain Testnet V4 fork, block height, which is like, man, I should know this, man. I always forget it. I, I remember it's January 26th of, of this year. So if you own NFTs before that on Ethereum, you have them on Testnet V4. You can go trade them, as you can see on my screen here. Some people are having fun trading their collections. There's a, a carousel of real time trades here. We have the these cool. Full socks, some Zen NFTs, some test ones. It's pretty cool. Um, some board apes actually listed for sale the other day, which I thought was awesome. Let's see. Go to explore sales. Just getting into into the weeds here. Yeah, man. A couple board apes, a couple clone X, and a couple wrapped crypto punks, a bunch of hex and pulse collectibles, a bunch of Zen NFTs are out here listing their NFTs for crazy prices, man. Like 10 billion pulse for this guy. Five billion pulls for this guy. He, you know, we don't know if they're gonna get get these prices, because um, obviously to have this much pulls on testnet, mm. you definitely need to. You know how it works, right? To have that much pulls on testnet, you needed to have have it, had it pretty much in your stack of credits or or traded your way up on testnet like a madman degen. But right, um, yeah, that's what it is. It's live on testnet. Go check it out. Test.mentor.pro. Go crazy. But it's out, it's live, we're building in public now. And the ever everlasting question of when mainnet is um TBD. Never never gets never gets old, right? Instead of two more weeks, we have a uh, pineapple love says three more months. Three more months. Three more. Is that right. the two weeks? <laughs> I right now it is, right now. Yeah, speaking of uh pulse, you know, having enough pulse to do stuff and a lot of people are like, oh, I don't have enough to be a test net validator, which was kind yeah. of sad. I kinda wish we had a better faucet for that to get people who were who could learn more and before mainnet launch and all that but now now it's uh you know pulse i heard there was a dip recently so you may be able to be a validator for like 2k or something now i'm just is guessing. that the price let's see that's actually a Where's great point I, I forgot because yeah. you're huge on the you probably run a bunch of validators i think you do right? I, I am i do yeah i have validator script set and all that for people oh nice man nice yeah i'll put that in the chat by the way if anyone's interested tinyurl.com slash go validate will take you to the info on that. Uh, oh, we got it. Yeah, what I did see when I saw this morning, it was like down forty okay. percent or so. What, what's it? What are we looking at now? No, you're right. Two k to run a validator. Okay. Um, yeah, it's down about forty percent on the day. Insane. Uh, Insane. <laughs> well, I got one question on Mentor before we uh, get, get into the all the all the fun. Uh, to will Mentor list and sell Watts in the future, Gerardo? Yeah, they're already on there. So if you just go to explore collections, go to the filter here, go to your DeFi NFTs, apply, boom, there she is, Watsa. 21,000 supply is what I assume you guys are talking about. No volume of Watsas though. Looks like hmm. it looks like diamond handing them. But yeah, go go trade your Watsas, guys. HSIs, hmm. again, I mentioned the Zen NFTs. Um, Zen NFTs are actually beating the the lots of guys and hsis on volume so it's a little friendly competition there but when monkey pictures for lots of nfts dev since you would know oh, what yeah. I mean. you would know yeah right now th this was supposed to be a placeholder i think it even says placeholder yeah <laughs> but right. um it's been there since since the beginning which is kind of funny it's all good I think these DeFi oh. NFTs have a higher value or a different value proposition than just the JPEG though, which is the underlying tokens. All right, that's why I'm calling them DeFi NFTs. I feel like I, I, I call them that as well. That's yeah, yeah. I was like, what do I say? They're DeFi NFTs like, cause they have this, you know, the, you this accruing value, this mm -hmm. uh, chicken game of chicken who can burn it first. You get the less mm -hmm. of the poll percentage. Um, the, that's actually an interesting question. Do you think that the art, how much, how much part of the price would the art go into versus the redeemable value for Watts's, do you think? I mean, I think the art might help. I think um, it's a little bit of everything. Like, um, I've said this a few times. There there are, like, what, what gives an NFT value? It's the same as an ERC-20 token, in my opinion. It can be a lot of things. 
whether it's real world club access to something like a membership, whether it's the community backing it, whether it's the art, right? There is value in art, I believe, whether it's, um, you know, the underlying liquidity, like the Uniswap NFTs or like the Watt says, they have underlying tokens that are redeemable uh, and it just encapsulates a position and then it becomes tradable, which I think is really cool. But I think it's a little bit of everything. So if you, if you can add all of those little things to an NFT, or if you want to just go hard in one one lane, I mean, it's, it's up to the originators of these collections, but would art help on these guys? I think so. Give, give them a little bit of uniqueness other than just the token ID and the, you know, the metadata, like um, the endpoints, for example, or the B points. That's really the only metadata these guys have. But yeah, I think some art would be nice. Yeah, I think that's because the place, I mean, it's there for a reason. The placeholder is there because we expect, or we have no expectations of future art, but uh, that could get the people who are less interested in DeFi part to be like, oh, there's art. And also this thing, you can sell it for Icos. You can sell it for this other token thing. Uh, get the get the people who aren't familiar with the ecosystem kind of a, a running start into it. That'd be cool. Yeah. 